AI. That's pretty much all there is to say, isn't it? Let's take a look at what AI means for the business applications in the Dynamics 365 customer engagement suite of products. So these are the tools where we've got co-pilots to help with sales, marketing, customer service, field service. And there is a lot going on here that's really gonna take a lot of work out of those jobs, but actually really start to rethink how we use these business applications. So kicking off here with customer insights, in case you're not across this recent change, this brand is actually now used both for what used to be called customer insights, which is unifying all of your data from different sources and applying some clever predictions and metrics and segmentation to that and the marketing capability. So we're going to have a look at both of those together in a single journey here. So we're starting off in customer insights data. This is the system where we are unifying data across multiple sources and this natural language querying of segments is a level ups from the previous demos and announcements that we've seen before. So now we've got this co-pilot experience inside that application and the ability for someone to go in and actually ask something. This is a real rethink, right? So when we build segments for marketing, generally we'll start with find all customers who've purchased this or purchased that. This allows you to start with a query to understand your data first and then build a segment based on it. So the example here, how many customers currently use on-premises capture software? This is a company that sells this obviously as an example and then it's giving you this insight but did you know only 20 percent of them use our professional services and you've got things from the healthcare or government would you like to create a segment this is a level up i generally find with people in marketing they need to go out to their data people their reporting it people and ask them to do a whole lot of analysis and there's a whole lot of work and back and forth and guessing i heard someone talk about it like a game of battleships where you sort of say, hey, is that, you know, if you've got something at E3, miss, and then you sort of have to go back to the drawing board and, and go back and, and, and try again. So this puts it right in the hands of the people who are doing that segmentation to be able to ask questions get relevant insights and then use that to create segments based on things they might not even have known were relevant. So yes, let's go ahead now and create that segment based on the thing I asked for and one of those insights you just provided. And now we're switching across into the customer insights journeys piece. This is the marketing execution. So that same co-pilot working across both. And now we've got that sitting in here and you can see that segment starting to be built out with the Boolean logic that again, a lot of people don't know how to do. That's a bit of a lost skill set, but the co-pilot is able to do that for you based on natural language. Next thing we see, I told you there was a lot, is to create journeys with Copilot. So let's describe a journey. This actually can take into consideration a bunch of things that will help with branching, with timing, with designing triggers. This is only newly announced, so I wanna get more into this announcement and see what it can actually do. But being able to just sort of describe the journey, and here is a preview of what it looks like along the side. Okay, great, let's go ahead and create that. And then as we see across a lot of the applications using Copilot to refine, to describe what you want. So here's the journey created. Here's an extra piece we want for customers that didn't click the link, optimize the channel to send a follow up and off we go. So this is now all sitting inside the real time marketing capability. If you're still on outbound marketing, you really want to get across to real time marketing. This is going to be something that makes it much quicker and easier. And again, brings the level of skill down a notch so that more people can do more. There's some sophisticated stuff that you can do here and the co-pilot knows what that is and can help suggest the right things and get you a much better outcome. The other thing we saw announced is using Copilot to create forms. The example here of a lead generation form where we're just describing it and it's giving us all of these things. Again, I like this preview down the side and then it goes ahead, creates the form. You can then say match the theme to this website. So this is the customer example that we saw used as part of the demo and it picks up on the theme, it picks up on the branding and all of those things in there as well. So you don't have to know that or go back and check all the colors and things because it's able to pick that up from the website branding and then finally we can come in here and use copilot to write 
content on that form and it will automatically suggest relevant images that you can add in there as well. So a lot of creation experience is going on there. For me, the ability to do that suggested segmenting is just the absolute kind of best. I think that's going to be people will get so much more value out of their data in that marketing personalization space by having the co-pilot do that data mining work and suggesting insights for you in a way that just isn't possible right now. Sales co-pilot, this is just, I mean, hold on to your seats here. <laughs> this one this one gets big. There's a lot here that I wanna do a deeper dive in. Let me know in the comments what you're interested in here because I'm, I'm definitely gonna be getting into this one. So we've seen this part before. Let's summarize an opportunity inside Dynamics 365. So we've got different co-pilot experiences. We've got one that sits in Dynamics 365 sales. We've got one that sits inside Outlook and Teams across the, the sales spectrum here. So this is inside Dynamics summarize this opportunity. Okay, so far so good. Wait for it. <laughs> now there's an RFP. We need to respond to an RFP. You, if you've ever had to do an RFP, let me know how much pain that is. I know how much pain that is. I'm involved in this as well. It is a lot of work and the idea that Copilot can help us with that, I, I cannot wait for this and I, I need to get my hands on it. There's an RFP we need to respond to and so then the command in Copilot, the prompt in Copilot, find related documents. There are three documents that might match this account. Now when I looked at the Wave 2 release, this was in there and I couldn't quite figure out what it was doing. This is the start of seeing it come through. I still need to dig into this more to understand what the pieces are that it's using it. In any case, whatever this is, I want it. <laughs> Next thing that happens is we go into Teams and we can use Sales Copilot in Teams. Let's draft the response based on these references. So we've got a template, we've got source materials, create a draft. This would be living the dream, honestly. I'm <laughs> and then also create actions for people to do. And so it's pulling all of those tasks in and making it easier for you to manage the tasks. Yeah, I, I'm a little speechless with this one because honestly, the use of AI to help with that absolutely laborious process of responding to RFPs will save so much time and give us so much time back, those of us who work in sales and technical pre-sales as I do, to actually do much more valuable time spent in, in the job. So watch this space. The final thing here, and this is another one I'm loving. So this is like Copilot taking out the whole screen. I'm not sure if this is how it will work or if it will just be down the side, but actually starting to use it to analyze and understand what's going on with your sales performance, which opportunities are closing next month. What is the account information for this particular account? This is almost like the new dashboard, right? We, we do a lot of work with dashboards. We've actually seen in the Dynamics 365 applications that the actual dashboard components themselves have had no real sort of work or, or anything done to them for a very long time. Power BI is obviously a really sophisticated reporting tool we can use in there. But this idea of instead of having everyone needs their own dashboard to configure a dashboard, that the co-pilot be, sort of becomes your reporting tool or your dashboarding tool. Loving this idea as well. Now, customer service, there are a handful of really, really cool things going on with the customer service copilot. I'm also going to talk about the field service copilot, which I've never seen before and which blew my mind too. This whole dynamic space has got some very awesome things in it. Uh, apologies for the slight blurriness in the screenshot there. I've got screenshots from the launch event and they're not always big enough, so that's not your eyesight or my uh, camera resolution, but hopefully you can get a sense of it. So the first thing here is a case summary. As I am working on a case, I'm an agent, I've come in, maybe I've been working the case, maybe someone else has been working the case, but there might be a lot of depth. This is a scenario where maybe there's a lot of additional documentation or support or a lot of history in the notes and the tasks and the comments and the appointments and things and a lot going on. If I need to call that customer or talk to them about their case, it's a lot of work to go through all of that and get up to speed. So this use of generative AI here, Copilot to just summarize something and just giving you a very, very quick summary of the situation is a real time saver and helping you get across things much more quickly. The next thing we see is this capability to draft an email. This is really clever because this is actually working in the context of the case 
as well as the context of any other sources you've pointed it to. So your knowledge base, any other kind of reference documents. And you'll see at the bottom there, there's a thing that says check sources all the way with this co-pilot, this transparency of it giving you references and telling you where things are coming from and the ability for you to say, yes, I will copy, yes, I will paste, I'll update that, and you're in control still of pressing send. But that legwork of it going out and finding the information and finding the relevant information for you, that is tedious and it's going to save a, a heap of time. The other thing here, we've seen the case summary, but this is now a conversation summary. So if you've got a live conversation going with someone and you've got a conversation thread, maybe you need to escalate to someone else or bring someone else in, a subject matter expert in to help you. Boom, conversation summary. How helpful is that for that person who's entering the conversation? And the fourth thing, <laughs> Copilot for Customer Service, is this chat down the side here where you can ask it questions. And similarly to what we saw before with writing the email, it's referring to any of those other documents. So this is like if you're a junior agent or if it's an area you're less familiar with, this is like having a, a colleague, a more experienced colleague alongside you, and you're able to resolve that without having to ask other people or interrupt because the Copilot can help you find the right information. Tell me what you think of all of this. So we're about to have a look at field service <laughs> going another level up. I'm actually really impressed with this customer service co-pilot, those four things in there around summarizing and bringing all that in. It looks very uh, rich. So field service is not an area that I've covered a lot on the channel. It's not a big area of expertise for me, but this, this blew me away. This is an Outlook add-in. So through Copilot here. And what we're doing here with field service is creating work orders and scheduling people, skilled technicians or skilled field workers of some kind to go out and do those jobs, complete those work orders. So we've got email coming in here. Hi, I've got, you know, we need to install some stuff. We please tell us what's available. Copilot down the side here is actually able to help you create the work order. So this is not dissimilar to what we see in the sales Copilot where you can add a new contact and it will fill in the details from the signature. It's picking up on the details from this email and pre-populating again with the ability for you to go, can I check all of those things and save it? So now we've got our work order created. It saves it into the field service app. But as a user, I haven't had to go into Dynamics. I'm working in Outlook. So all of these co-pilot experiences that allow you to work where you want to work. And in particular, people still work in Outlook. Emails come in. You don't necessarily want to be switching back and forth. So from Outlook, I've created the work order check all of the details in there. That's just a kind of a zoomed in view of those things and say, yes, let's go ahead and create it. From there, we've got a scheduling tab and Copilot is then going to give you a suggested person to do the job based on skills, availability. So we've got all this scheduling stuff set up behind the scenes in the field service application and Copilot is able to take the information from this work order, what the customer wants, what skills, availability, location and so on are needed and suggest Oh, Crystal would be a good choice for that. And we can say, excellent, thank you. I will book Crystal and that's all done. I still have not left Outlook. <laughs> so that ability to do that complete end to end, receiving an email, create the work order, schedule someone in to do it all from in Outlook is awesome. Now we go back into the field service application and this is a manager role here after the work's been done. So we've got some pieces here where that job goes out to the person, the person completes it, there's a mobile experience for them to fill it all in. And now back in the application, we've got this summary. So this is not unlike what we just saw with the customer service case summary is the work order summary. So if you are the manager and you need to sign off and check it's all been done, instead of having to go through and check everything, Copilot is going, hello, here's a summary of the situation. How does this look? If you would like to know more about Copilot, check out my other video on the Power Platform capabilities. All of that stuff kind of also works with Dynamics. There's some very cool things in there around Power Automate and Power Virtual Agents and being able to create chatbots. Let me know in the comments below what else you would like to know more about. And thank you very much for watching.